Good morning, it's Monday. I am, I'm up, I'm like dressed and everything. It's okay. I'm just, I'm in a good mood. Um, On Nick and Andrea's live last night, they mentioned like, um, like scammers and being scammed and stuff. And I was like, yeah, I'm going through one at the moment. Well, and here's my little advice to you. Number one, don't reply to any messages from your scammer until you've spoken to eBay, okay? And then go through, don't use any of the, the like bot things, so don't go through chat, don't go through like any automatic responses things. Call eBay or have them call you first thing in the morning and you're more than likely to um, speak to someone, hopefully UK or Ireland based, that will help you. Um, but yeah, so don't, don't rise to their threats just speak to eBay. And so case closed in my favour. Ha! So yeah, bring it on bitches. Just try, just try and scam me. Just try. And yes, if any jewellery sellers do want to know um, some of the details of some scammers, feel free to message me. Oh, right, it's time for coffee and, oh, Caddy, Caddy's just about to be on, so I've got to make coffee and take my pills. Um, but yeah, this, they're still all here. What's with that? I've got to... So these are all ones that I've still got to research and stuff. And then these are all ones that I've done. I have Sauron as well, so I've got to pack him up and send him today. But meanwhile, old Kelly's on, so uh, let's go and watch her. Hey, I've just been sick and I don't know why. I've been feeling funny all morning. Like, I had a weird dream. I still feel a bit queasy. I had a weird dream last night that I had two little pets, like mice or something, and um, I had to let them go into this like tank thing, knowing that like um, they were going to get eaten by snakes. Now, what does that mean? Somebody tell me. What does that mean? And I was like, I, but I don't want them to. They're like, no, you have to put them. On. I don't want them eaten by snakes. So that was a weird, horrible dream this morning. And I don't know whether it's, I I think I took my meds yesterday. I'm pretty sure. But then when I've taken them this morning, okay, I, could, I woke up this morning and I can tell when I haven't had my meds like on time because I started getting like, like that. So I took them and then um, maybe about half an hour later I felt sick and I was actually, actually sick. So just having water for now and, and I might go and have another lie down because my brain is all completely fuzzy. I'm going to do my post first so I'll show you that I, I'm currently recording another video at the same time so I've already filmed this bit of it and then I'm going to film this again. But this bit, like basically I'm filming it just jewellery going out for you. me stepping on uh, on some bubble wrap yeah so I'm, I'm also filming a just jewelry video there's not much difference because I haven't sold that much over the weekend and it's really weird and I'm wondering it's because if it's because I had that I am not received case open oh yes I had a I am not received case open um from someone that I I Check the track. Okay, it hadn't updated on eBay. It's still say, it's saying that it hadn't been delivered. But then I checked the tracking on the Hermes website. Not only did it say it had been delivered, but there was also a photograph. And in the photograph, the door was open. It was a brown door. And there were some feet in the brown doorway. And then I looked up their address on Google Earth. And this is the only one in that little row with a brown door. So I screenshot that as well. It's like, don't mess with me. Um, and so I just replied to the, you know, to the item not received case, just saying states it was delivered on Friday at 10.25. And then they decided to come back with, uh, like, yeah, well, you listed it as new and, uh, and it's not new. I'm like, no, it's listed as pre-owned for a start and nowhere. And, and she's like, well, you take advantage of people like me that don't read the listings properly. Um, whose fault is that? Anyway, so I called up eBay this morning 
um, and I was like, I knew from the, just from, just from the username that, she, that this person was going to be a scammer. I could just tell it's really naff tacky username. Um, and they were a reseller as well, but they don't resell on this account. They resell on their other account. I don't know what their other account is because otherwise, you know, but anyway. Yeah, so uh, I called up eBay this morning and they closed the case in my favour and they were like, yeah, it's horrible when you just know you're being scammed. Like, when you just know. Anyway, so I was just wondering if it was because of that, because you know when you have cases open against you, it does count against you. And stuff! Or maybe it's because I just haven't listed anything for five days and I'm now dropping behind on my how far ahead I am of stuff. And I'm not going to list anything today because I'm, I've got all of this boy stuff to sort out. Anyways, I was going to show you what's going out. Right, three two kilogram bags of jewellery. So take a look. This is the kind of thing that you will get. It's a mixed bag of stuff that I just don't sell. I try and take out the broken stuff because I sell broken lots separately and I try and take out terribly tarnished stuff, but there might still be some tarnished stuff in there. So, oh, what's that name? Ah, it's a name I don't get. Um, oh, and there's some Birmingham in there, brand new with tags. Um, oh, and there's some clip-on earrings on their original card and a couple of folksy um, bracelets. That's another bag. And then this one has got another folksy bracelet in there and some nice big chunky stuff and some faux pearls. So no one can tell me that my two kilogram bags are shut because they're not. It's just stuff that I don't want to sell. So bring it out, bitch. Yeah, anyway, other stuff. <laughs> uh, when resellers try and scam other resellers, that, that actually makes me sick. You know? Um, right, £7 for some clip-on earrings. £8 for these gorgeous, gorgeous, like, proper, like, proper Art Deco earrings. I let them go too cheap, but I was having a bad day of sales and I needed something to get it going. £8.50 for this little flying duck pin. Twelve ninety or twelve seventy nine for this pilgrim necklace with just all like little flowers on it and stuff. Three pounds nineteen for this mother's union pin. Um, where's the other stuff? Real, real big hit is now one pound fifty nine plus postage for this vintage Christmas card. It cost me nothing, so I'm not too bothered about that. And then this mirror, I think I bought for a pound fifty p pound, and that. And for £16, £15 plus postage. So, oh, and a little pill box. Sorry, a little pill box. That went for eight ninety nine. It's got a little onyx lid on it. So this won't take me long at all, which is good because I quite fancy a lie down. Mailman's just been... And, and, and I've got some postalings. Are they from the same person? I don't know why they... If it's from the same person... Why didn't they put it in the same box? Um, this is an eBay snipe or some, not, well, not really snipes. Um, I was watching a couple of items and then they sent me an offer and I was like, go on then. Obviously it was, it was jewelry bits. Well, they've packed this in a half, fair play to them. They've done this before. Um, yeah, and I just thought, you know, it's been eight and a half minutes since I've bought some jewellery. So let's do it. How much did I spend? Hang on. And I've also got a parcel from Carla of, of jewellery as well. Again, because, you know, I only bought three bits of jewellery. Two bits, two bits, three bits yesterday at the car booth. Um, yeah, so all together. So what's that? Um, 40 pounds I spent all together on this and this and so far it's proving to be quite difficult to get into come on are we getting there what have they done here this is... I mean fair play to them for their packaging you know come on okay I'll get back to you in a bit once I've opened these but um, I'm just sorting out some more figures um, while I'm doing this. I'm just having a little chat with Sue and Kelly 
So hello. Yeah, hello. you did pick a bad hair day, didn't you? You never have a bad hair day, Sue. You always look gorgeous. And then so beautiful. Good afternoon. Feeling a lot better now. And I've had another coffee and it stayed down and it's okay. Mm. Um the jewellery from Carla, most of it was crap. Four really good bits in it, which I will show you in a separate video. But um yeah, super chat, nice one. <laughs> right, I have finished looking through humanoids and I've got to move on to alien type weird creatures which are on the table there but i'll show you what i've found out so far so we have got a frankenstein monster he is a silent screamer so that's nice and there's another set from the same range which is the dr jekyll and mr hyde so that's these two guys over there I've got so many listings to do so many obviously that's Joker green coat from 2008 I don't think it's particularly exciting but someone will want um Marvel Ghost Rider armored um from 2000 sorry 1996 so that's Ghost Rider it looks nothing like Nicolas Cage Hercules Legendary Journey, apparently that's Xena Princess Warrior maybe. So, yeah, 1995. Marvel Legends Black Panther from 2005 with cape. It's things like that, like the little details and the little nubbinsy gubbinsies. That's, you know, sometimes where the money is apparently. Right, and would never have gotten this. Chronicles of Riddick Necromunga. Lord Marshall from 2004. He's got like all heads all around his head. That's quite a cool one though. This is from a game, I think, Age of Mythology. And that's the Minotaur figure. This dude from Spawn, he's the freak character. And he's got a little handbag and stuff with him. And he's a jolly chap, but there are little bits missing he comes with a range of knives so that's nice this is from 1991 disney dark wind duck he's tuscanini but his action doesn't work unfortunately but still he seems to be a little bit rare or at least there's none listed and none sold so hmm. disney gargoyles 1995 elisa Mesa, and she's got some like wings and some kind of weapon and um, the ones that i've seen listed don't have the wings so that's that's good that's good i've got a nice bag of um avatar stuff there's like a little animal and mr happy dude like that guy that i love he's he's one of them and he's quite a rare one that should be like 13 quid on its own and um, plus a glider and i think the there's various little weapons that I think might belong to them as well. I reckon they're going to be last day bender things. They look... Oh, hockey sticks. Yeah, it could be hockey sticks. Um, so I will look them up, but I think they, like, they look like it. And then, yeah, this is like a glider thing that one of them goes on. So that's quite a smart little, little bundle, even though it is a little disintegration of some of the other types of plastic in there. I think that'll still get... A decent whack just because there's a you know a nice bunch of figures in there uh we've got hicks and ripley from alien vs predator 1992 these are kenna toys so that's hicks and ripley gotta say they didn't do a great job with the sigourney weaver she looks much better than that but there we go spider-man 3 black cat hasbro 2007 so that's the spider-man 3 movie obviously i was looking for catwoman no it's black cat and then this is legendary comic book heroes this is witchblade so that's her uh, one that i can't seem to find is this one and she's got a broken arm anyway and i can't fix it it won't it won't stay on it just that's a uh, yeah sorry love so that'll go in my little baggie of brokens. 
so I'll probably just sell off this little baggie of stuff. Brokens and random bits and things that I can't find, so that's apparently Yu-Gi-Oh, but there's meant to be like a skirt bit that's obviously ripped off. We've got little Harry Potter, he's nothing exciting, he's a 2007 figure, and then that's like a Kinder Surprise toy. So, we'll join them. And then there's five of them in there. That's police versus bad guys. So they're all like, there's a pirate and a criminal and then some like, cops and stuff. And you all very kindly helped me identify a lot of those Justice League characters and I'm gonna put them in, apparently they're all from like, well most of them are from Total Justice. So I'm putting, there's five of them I've put together and then some of them I think um, will do separately on their own. So those five are gonna go together in a lot. <sighs> right, now it's time for Alien Dudes. Well, before I get on with any more work, I'm actually gonna stop for some lunch. Uh, we've got a lot of cheese in the fridge for some reason, so I'm having some cheese base. So I'm having corned beef and cheese, like um, done it in some low dough, which has been fried, so that's why it's all, like, all nice and melty, and then some sugar-free brown sauce. And while I eat that, I'm gonna watch Z and Bex with their uh, Sunday update. Well, they daft, aren't they? Well, they, no, I quite like the alien ones. Like, I mean, that one's cool. If only it worked. I think you're meant to push the button and then... Oh! Yeah. I don't know if it's meant to do that, but... Oh! It does it. And then, I, like, he's got a mouth thing, but I don't know if that's meant to come out, like, automatic or because it's not really doing a... Mm. So I don't know if this action is right. But anyway, I like I like Alien. Um, Alien is um, one of the many reasons why I never wanted children. Yes. Because, you know. You don't know what you're going to get, do you? Well, there's a weird thing growing inside you. And then I, I know how babies are born. I know that they burst out of your chest and then you die. True story. I think I watched Alien when I was... Well, with my brother, and we watched Alien, and I must have been about nine or ten years old, and I was like, no, never having anything grown inside me. That's just weird. But there's um, there's these like doggy type aliens. Again, they've got some kind of thing that's meant to have an action, so I'm guessing they're meant to rear their heads, but mm. that doesn't work. I'm guessing. And then these ones are like two variants of the same, so they're like praying mantis type ones. Meh. And then this, I'm guessing, is probably the queen. And look, she flies. And then she's got nice claws, so she can like, uh, like. Oh, hello. So, it's it's like I'm a falconer of aliens. I'm an alien falconer. Not impressed. I see why boys like this. I'll get you, you pesky alien type. Oh, hello. Hi. Yeah. Right, let's look these up, shall we? Okay. Oh my god. There's there's so many places where things could be and things aren't oh right we've got a mark there again inner thigh 1992 i wonder if this one goes with um ripley and hicks okay oh. alien 1992 figure did it say kenna this box kenna kenna Series, no, you're not that one. Scorpion alien? Oh, it could be. Could be scorpion alien. I think it might be. Oh, someone's just sent me an offer on something. Um, no, scorpion has a black tail. Oh, that's the one. Alien Queen Vintage Action Figure Alien Series 1. Someone's got it up for £9. Let's 
have a little look at their description. I mean, I'll obviously have to start it at less. I'll start it at six. So 1992, Kenna, Alien, Queen, S1. Um, very minor wear and tear, will not come with any of their accessories. Oh, don't know why I'm owing it that. I'm not buying it. Okay, one alien done. I also found out, um, right, this is a spawn character. He's got very big metal legs. We've also got Man Bat from Batman. This dude, he's a fake alien. He's a alien. <laughs> and um, he, I found him on a website and it's like, it's just like fake aliens, fake toys and stuff, you know, faux and, and nasty copies and stuff. So, sorry, dude but uh, you're going somewhere else. Right, okay, what about these ones? So these ones that I think look like praying mantis eye. Do you have a date? You've got 93. Okay. So alien figure, 1993. Oh yeah, praying mantis. So they go for about nine pounds each. Well, they sold that. Oh, come back. So yeah, six and nine pounds. So maybe I'll bundle them together and do like 15 pound thing. Yeah, I'll do a start at 15. Okay, alien, mantis. S293 Kenna Um and let's do a sell one like this. When I do the sell one like this, it's literally just like a rough draft. I will change like the title, the postage, the you know everything in it because I like to format things in in my way that speaks like my listing so that I have uniformity because I'm weird like that. And then I've got doggy ones and then this one. So you are ninety two and you're again alien Kenna. Figure 1992 helps if I spell alien right with no K in it. Right, we'll have a look for the flying bird in a minute. Oh, that's you. Bull, these are bulls. They don't go for much, so I'll we'll put them together for a fiver. Starting at a fiver, not going for a fiver. Alien bull, Kenner, 92, five pound start. That's them. I'm getting there. I've just got like weird things which again I think are gonna be spawn. Right, when are you from, love? What's it say on your inner thigh? 93. 93 flying, we'll go flying. Um, Kenna, flying alien queen, complete and working. Someone's got one up for 12 pounds. Let's see what it's sold. Mm, between five and 12, so eight pounds then. Okay, I'll come back with the results of the last lot in a bit. Okay, so all of the alien type dudes are done. There was obviously like a bunch of actual aliens, which I showed you. And then these ones all ended up being Spawn. And some of the names are great. Like this one is called Vertebraker. That's genius. And Techno Spawn. And um, these ones I've put together, they're both 
versions of the same guy, which is Violator, which is very good Depeche Mode album. But they've both got broken bits, so I'm just going to listen them together. And we have Mutant Deluxe and a an, an Cyber Violator. And another... Oh, he's Vandalizer. And he's Kurt something robot. And then Freak. So, um, lovely, lovely things. And this is all of my piles of lots that I'm going to do. So I'm going to count out how many lots and I'll let you know. Well, it looks like... 57 lots of figures, a broken lot, which I don't know whether to sell, I'll just start at like 99p, and then these are all just like random bits which I might just add to that lot. I mean, what would you do with them? I know you would probably look them all up and, you know, maybe sell each little bit separately, but um, I can't be too. Then uh, there's no, no, I don't have the patience for that. I've only just made it to this point in my life to dealing with these figures. But um, yeah, so we'll call it 58 lots. If we maybe, I mean, some of them are only going to go for a couple of pounds. Some of them only go for 99p. Some of them only go for two, three pounds. And some of them will go for more. Maybe we average it out at a tenner a lot. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see anyway. Right, I'm gonna leave this here for now. Um, yeah, because I might just go and chat to Nick for a little bit. And, uh, cause apparently he's just gone live. Again, if anybody does know who this is, by the way, I made the guitar. It, 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 this is just a bit of cardboard. It didn't, he didn't come with it. It's not a, you know, he didn't come with the guitar. I just thought he looked like he was having a guitar type stance. If you do know who it is, this is the only one I've really yet to find. I mean, you might be getting kept at this rate. But yeah, let me know if you do know. I'm gonna whack this together. And then the next stage of this will be finishing off my drafts properly and then photographing. By the way, I am gonna auction them all. So I'm gonna be auctioning them starting from this Sunday, which I have no idea what date it is. It will be the 18th. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. So look out for them. But yeah, I'll uh, I'll catch up with you maybe tomorrow or some other point. I'm not going out anywhere today. I'm not doing poster or anything else today. This has had me brain stuff. I'm just going to go and tart up my listings and do it properly and stuff, maybe. Yeah. Anyway, I'll catch you again soon. Right, just a little addendum. I spent the last, like, I mean, look, it's dark outside now. The last few hours properly drafting all of these. So they are done, they are drafted. I've just got to take and add the photographs to them, but that's job for tomorrow. And yeah, this is how many there are. There are 59 of them, and they're going to start Sunday the 18th, seven o'clock at one minute intervals. Whew. I still don't know who this guy is, but to be honest, we're, we're kind of making good friends. And, uh, you know, if I can't find out who he is um, by Sunday, then he might just stay. But I like that, that, that you know, that he, he looks like he might be a good ballet dancer. Or the, whoo, don't you think? Ta-da! Yeah. Um, right, that's me for the night then. I shall see you again probably tomorrow. Unless I'm really, really busy doing lots of photographs and stuff. And in which case, bye-bye uh, now. Bye-bye. <laughs>